Good morning. Today I'm going to be uh, taking you through how to set up a shop on Redbubble and uh, upload art and create products and sets of products step by step. This is similar to the video I did a couple weeks ago on Cafe Press, but uh, I think this is going to be quicker and more comprehensive because Redbubble is just really simple to use. The whole system is streamlined. It's easy. I really, uh, I really enjoyed learning how this works. So I have here a brand new Redbubble account. I just used the uh, Facebook uh, sign up option to create a brand new account with my personal email. And this is the very first screen I got after signing up. So I'm just going to click this red bu button here, open your own store. All right. And the first thing I've got here is uh, I can add a few settings. Okay. So it's asking for payment details right away. I'll let you discover that and fill it up for yourself. But also you'll add a cover image, uh, you have a username, you have a short bio that you can put. So I'm going to just do, let's see, I'm going to use uh, ashram scenes for this shop. So I'll add this cover image, one of my uh, ashram screenshots. Perfect. Okay. All the Tonkas show. And then I'll put in a short bio here. Oh, I've got, well, I've got all kinds of info here that I can fill out actually. So you can set it to show your real name or your username. In this, I'll show my real name for the, uh, fifth Avenue gallery shop though. I'm using the username. So it shows fifth Avenue gallery instead of me. You can put, uh, you know, privacy settings, you can enter your own bio, a profile so people can see you. All this stuff is, uh, is for you to fill out. But let's set up the first work. Let's go right to uploading uh, art here. Okay, so I'm going to use upload to all products and just upload a uh, another screenshot. So uh, let's see, here's a crown of creation screenshot. I'll upload this one. And now it's going to take that art and very intelligently fit it onto all these different products. Now, uh, what I can do here, I've got, for example, as, as I look at this, I've got, each, these products are in categories. So this is standard print clothing and it's enabled for me eight out of nine out of standard print. The, the ninth one, for some reason, it's either not available or the system has determined that this art doesn't work on it. If I click edit here, I can now, uh, increase the size here and uh, and I will do that because uh, yeah I like to use up as much of the print area as I can so I'll just put it I'll just put it like that and apply changes and that's applied the change I just made to all of this eight of nine all right so I'll do the same here on large print clothing this is this is kind of nice because I have artistic control as much as possible. And there's a lot of other settings I can put. And these settings, I can do them by, pr by product. But I really appreciate this, that I can do it for the whole group of products together. Now here, contrast tanks, if you look at this, first of all, you can see it's disabled, this product. Uh, and the reason why you can see, if you look at this, the graphic doesn't cover the whole thing. It leaves white space. So you would have to either enlarge the graphic in your own image editor program or what I usually do is just leave it disabled and move on to the next one that's enabled, which is the sticker. And I can see here, well, it looks good. I'll just click the edit to be sure. 
Yeah, because here I can see the border and I can see it's, it's fit in just, just perfectly already. Uh, this is actually one great thing about Redbubble. It seems that it uh, adjusts the size of certain things. Now, phone cases, that's kind of weird with just her shoulder. So uh, let's just uh, move it like that and apply the change. Okay, phone wallet, that looks perfect as is. Oh, I like this pillow looks good. Floor pillows are disabled, it's not big enough. Prints, cards, and posters, uh, it's enabled, and I just leave that. It'll select automatically the appropriate sizes. And I, again, uh, this here's pouches, laptops, and then sleeves, it's enabled it, and I can see from the graphic here, it, it's fixed, it sized it correctly with the automatic thing, so that's perfect. Some of these are disabled travel mugs. Let's click into here. Oh yeah, okay, it's used all the space, so that's good. And let's look at the regular mug too and see. Yeah, for this too, it's used all the space, so that's fine. It's disabled leggings. I've got mini skirts here now. This scarf doesn't look right. Let's click in here, edit. Yeah, see, that's a, it's already 100%, but it's leaving huge white space, so that should be disabled. I can disable that manually, luckily. And then I'll go into tablet cases and skins here, move that just to put it where I want it. Mm, the clock looks fine, artboard, fine. The acrylic block looks fine. All that looks good. And now I can just put in here a little description. So this is... Let's call it Proud of Creation at Night. And uh, a nice, quiet place. You put in a description here. You put in your tags. Here, have a chance to add your own translations, but you don't have to because if you don't, it'll automatically translate it for you. You can pick the media, and I think uh, for something like this, design and illustration, painting and mixed media, my, oh, actually digital art, digital art and design and illustration, let's pick those two. And uh, you tell it here, well, you can give it a, a, a product as the default view, but I really like the image only default view because it gives it gives the it, the full sized image. It shows it there. Make it a public work, and then you show if it's mature content or not. This is not, so I can click no. I tell it that I have the right to sell these products and save the work here, and it will. Uh, It'll process that. Okay, so there we have it. It's created. 46 products based on this image and here they are they're all they're all set up there they're all in the shop so there you have it and uh, you can also I mean, if, if you start setting this up, what you would want to do, set up a complete profile, start setting up collections in the shop. And as you set up more of these images, you can group them in a collection. So uh, I could put up more ashram images and have a Prosperity Ashram collection where all those products are available, all those different images and products. But that that's really it to Redbubble. And it's, uh, it seems like it creates really high quality stuff it uh, it's really smart about the sizing, so give it a try if you haven't so far. And if there's any more questions you have, any more, if you want to know how to configure the shop or whatever, just leave a comment to this video 
and uh, I'll do a follow-up and help out with that. Good luck. <laughs>